Hello friends, welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. Today we will do data sufficiency. Data sufficiency is an important chapter for bank exams, CAT, UPSC and many of the competitive exams. So first of all let me tell you what data sufficiency is. In data sufficiency, the examiner gives you a question along with some data and it is asked at whether the given data is sufficient to solve the question or not. One of the biggest problems that candidates do is they try to solve the question. Instead they need to find whether the given data is sufficient or not to solve the given question. So I will explain you with help of some examples. So let's see. Okay let's talk about the steps in solving data sufficiency questions. First of all read the question. Secondly read the first conclusion and try to solve the question or check whether the you can solve the question by using just the first conclusion then take the second conclusion or the second statement and try to solve the question by using just second statement then take both the statements and try to solve the question with both statements at the end if you are not able to uh, solve the question or find that a question can't be solved with the given statements then mark it as it can be solved with by using both of the statements okay we have a very simple question here how many people are in that plane okay first of all take the statement one 25% five percent passengers are women that means what that means 75% of the passengers are male but that 75% or 25% doesn't answer a question that how many people we need to answer that in, in numbers or 750 or 850 something like that so this answer is not A okay statement 1 alone is not sufficient now take the second statement there are 150 men in the plane okay so this statement also alone not answering that our question the statement 2 is also not right alone is not sufficient so if we take combine both these with uh, these statements 75 percent of the passengers are male men okay that means one percent is equal to two okay one percent is equal to hundred percent is equal to 200 the number of passengers are 200 so if we use both of these statements we can answer the question okay so both statements are required the answer is c okay let's take another very important question it is seen in uh, sbi 2012 and uh, ibps 2012 too so is x is divisible by 28 that means what x uh, is x is divisible by 7 multiplied by 4 okay so statement one is is x divisible by 20 so that means uh, this statement is stating that x is divisible by 5 2 by 2 we are taking this LCM so here we need and 20 is not divisible by 7 so statement one alone is not sufficient so a is not the answer x is divisible by 21 21 is 7 multiplied by 3 that uh, we are taking the LCM so 7 is common here but 4, 4 is not common 2 by 2 so statement B alone also is also not sufficient to solve this problem if we take both statements at a time 7 from here and 2 by 2 4 from here we can solve the question easily so the answer is C okay okay let's take a very important example the last Sunday of month March fall on which date okay. the first statement is first Sunday falls on fifth from this we can calculate that first Sunday is on fifth second one comes on 5 plus 7 12 third one on 19 fourth one on 26 then on next month so from here we calculated that the last Sunday falls on 26th that means we can answer the question by 
statement one alone and let's take a look at the second option second statement the last day of the month was friday that means what 31st march was friday From here we can calculate that 30 March, 30th March was Thursday, 29th was Wednesday, thus we can calculate that 26th was Sunday. So simply we can uh, we concluded that we can answer the question by using either of the statements or oh sorry there should be a one more can be answered using either of the statements answer is E ok hope you like this video please subscribe to my channel below by clicking subscribe keep visiting bye